In this video, we're going to tackle the question of hormone replacement therapy for osteoporosis. Perhaps you've been recently diagnosed with osteopenia or osteoporosis, or perhaps you're doing everything right, the diet, the exercise, the supplements, and still watching your bone density drop. Maybe you live with a quiet dread of your next bone density scan, and you want to do everything in your power to rebuild bone. You're not alone, and you're not failing. You're just missing a key piece of the puzzle. Every three seconds, a bone is broken because of osteoporosis. And for decades, women have been told this is just part of aging. And the only means to stop it is osteoporosis drugs. But that's not the truth. The truth is, your body hasn't forgotten how to be strong. It's just lost its instruction manual when the most powerful ally your bones have silently walked off the scene. What if I told you there's a way to give your body that manual back, a way, and this is key, to make every single healthy choice you make exponentially more powerful and effective. Stay with me because that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. Before we get into the video, do me one quick favor. Click the like button now, then hit the subscribe, and at some point in the video, drop a comment so that YouTube gets the message to send this video out to people who need it most. Thank you for that. Now let's get educated, not medicated. Over the next few minutes, we're not just going to talk about bone health. We're going to completely reframe it. First, you'll finally understand why you feel like you're spinning your wheels as we uncover the elegant science of how your body is designed to be strong. Then we'll expose the critical flaws in the common drug treatments, the very real risks that they don't always tell you about up front. And most importantly, we're going to confront the one thing that's probably holding you back, the single biggest fear that has kept millions of women from reclaiming their strength, the breast cancer myth. The truth has been buried for 20 years. I'm going to show it to you. My promise is that by the end of this video, the fear and confusion you feel will be replaced by clarity and confidence. And for anyone who wants to go deeper, I've put all of the key studies and a summary of this entire plan into a free guide you can download. The link is right in the description. So let's start with menopause. For your bones, it's not a gentle transition. It's a crash. Estrogen levels plummet by 90% almost overnight. Imagine for decades, your body had a master architect overseeing your entire skeleton. That architect was estrogen. It kept your demolition crew in check and your construction crew hard at work building resilient, flexible bones. Then menopause hits and the architect walks off the job site and chaos erupts. The demolition crew starts tearing down bone at a furious pace. And here's the most frustrating part. The things that used to work stop working. Your workouts, your diet, your supplements, their impact is blunted because estrogen wasn't just a hormone. It was the key that unlocked your body's ability to use all those good things to their maximum benefit. It's why you can try so hard and still lose ground. But how exactly did this architect work its magic? Let's go microscopic. Imagine your skeleton is a 24 seven construction site. You have a demolition crew, the osteoclasts that clear out old weak bone, and you have a construction crew, the osteoblasts that build new strong bone. Estrogen ran this whole site with four brilliant strategies. First, it controlled the demolition crew. It kept the teardown signal quiet and the stop work signal loud. The result is less demolition. Second, it supercharged the construction crew. It made them live longer and work harder. The result is more bone building. Third, it protected the on-site communicators, the cells that sense your workouts and wear and tear and tell the crews where to clean up the damage and build new bone. The result is smarter remodeling. And fourth, it acted as the site's firefighter, putting out the chronic inflammation that silently erodes your bone strength. The result is less damage. Estrogen wasn't just a factor. It was the entire operating system for strong bones. So if this is the perfect natural solution, why are you being offered something else? Something that is clearly inferior. Let's look at the drugs. Restoring estrogen is like hiring back the brilliant architect. Taking a drug is like putting a padlock on the construction site, preventing the demolition crew 
from doing their thing and hoping the crumbling building doesn't collapse. Bisphosphonates, like Fosamax, they poison the demolition crew. The result, your bones get denser, but it also gets older and more brittle. It's quantity over quality. Check out my video on bisphosphonates. Prolia, it's a powerful drug, but it comes with a terrifying catch, a rebound effect. If you ever stop, your bone loss can come roaring back, often worse than before. Check out my video on Prolia. And what about the new bone building drugs like Forteo or Avinity? They are a powerful short-term fix, but the moment you stop, you're told you must go right on to one of those other drugs to lock in your gains. You're still on the pharmaceutical treadmill, accumulating old bone and sacrificing quality over time. The bottom line is this. Drugs preserve a flawed structure. Hormones restore its intended function. This next part is for the woman who is doing it all. The gym, the diet, the supplements, and yet the numbers aren't moving. Your hard work is not being wasted. Your body is just missing the amplifier. HRT doesn't replace your healthy lifestyle. It unleashes its full potential. So what does this look like in practice? It's a personalized blueprint and you have two main approaches. Approach number one, the conservative strategy. This is for fracture prevention in people who are a little less comfortable with hormone replacement therapy. It uses a low dose of bioidentical estradiol through a patch or a gel, plus potentially bioidentical progesterone. It's safe, effective, and it can slow or stop bone loss in its tracks. With all of the lifestyle changes we recommend, you can even experience significant improvements in density with micro doses of estrogen. Approach number two, the restorative strategy. This is for the women who want to actively rebuild and take a more aggressive stance with their bone building program. We use an optimal dose of estradiol and may add other key hormones like DHEA or testosterone to also boost muscle, energy, and vitality. Aside from the bone boosting benefits of this approach, you will also feel the rejuvenating effects of hormones such as improved recovery, more supple skin, restored libido, improved mood, energy, and vitality. The best part? You can't just help your bones. When you restore estrogen, you create a positive feedback loop. Your brain works better, which lowers stress. Your muscles get stronger, which loads your bones. Your metabolism improves, which cools inflammation. You sleep like a baby, which makes your whole life better. You're not just treating a symptom. You're restoring a system. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know you're thinking it but doesn't it cause breast cancer? I don't want to say you've been lied to, but you have been knowingly or unknowingly misled. The fear that has gripped millions of women comes from a 20-year-old misinterpretation of a single study, the Women's Health Initiative. Here are the buried facts. Fact number one. In that study, the women who took estrogen alone had a 23% reduced risk of breast cancer. They were less likely to get it than women taking nothing. And I'll point out, that the form of estrogen used in the study was Premarin, horse estrogen, that is considered much more problematic than estradiol alone. Even with that inferior form of estrogen, their risk was reduced. Fact number two, the slight risk increase was only seen when estrogen was combined with an old synthetic progestin, a chemical we don't use anymore. Modern therapy uses bioidentical progesterone, meaning that it is the same chemical structure of progesterone that your body manufactures. According to this research, when bioidentical progesterone is used, it carries no significant additional risk. Fact number three, the increased risk associated with synthetic progestin plus horse estrogen was approximately eight more cases of breast cancer per 10,000 synthetic hormone users. Compare that to drinking a nightly glass of wine, which increases your risk by 10%, living a sedentary lifestyle, which increases your risk of 25%, and weight gain, that increases your risk by 7% for every 11 pounds you gain after the age of 18. So the fear you've been carrying is real, but it's not based on the complete truth. The reality is in the right person, estrogen can be used safely and effectively, especially when you use the modern bioidentical hormones prescribed by a skilled practitioner. So maybe you're convinced, but you're thinking, I missed my chance, I'm over 60. Another myth. While starting HRT closer to menopause has the most benefits, the door doesn't slam shut on your bones. The Women's Health Initiative study itself was done on women aged 60 to 79, and they still saw significant fracture reduction. 
The conversation isn't about if you can use hormones after 60. It's about how smartly you do it. You start with low doses and rely on topical estrogen to reduce the risk of side effects. You have not missed your chance. A quick note about using hormones topically versus in pill form. One of the main reasons why doctors avoid hormones in women over 60 is because they believe that it increases the risk of clots that can result in a heart attack or stroke. When estrogen is taken by mouth, it gets transported to the liver, which can increase the production of clotting factors. The risk is minimized when estrogen is given topically because it bypasses the first pass liver metabolism. So always choose topical estrogen over pill forms. Now, responsible medicine is safe medicine. HRT is not for everyone. If you have a personal history of breast or uterine cancer, active liver disease, or clotting disorders, it's likely not a safe option for you. For everyone else, safety comes from a smart, personalized approach. What about those of you who can't use hormone therapy? Is it hopeless for you? Are you damned to lose bone and ultimately fracture? Absolutely not. It's true that hormones are not a tool in your toolbox but you can still do everything else we discuss in this channel. I have seen plenty of women who follow the diet, exercise, and supplement strategies I discuss on this channel who experience significant and sometimes dramatic improvements in bone density. Your results may be blunted or slow, but you can still slow, stop, or even reverse bone loss. You just need to be more diligent with the non-hormone strategies we discuss. So if you're a good candidate, how do you do this the right way? Here is your three-step action plan. Step number one, get your data. Test, don't guess. Get an Ecolite REMS, or if you don't have access to it, a DEXA scan and a comprehensive hormone and health panel. Know your starting point. Step number two, build your support team. Find a practitioner who understands modern HRT. And remember that essential nutrients like vitamin D, vitamin K, and magnesium are your hormones' best friends. Step number three, Stack your lifestyle. This is where the magic happens. You combine that restored hormonal signaling with strength training, great nutrition, and deep sleep. This is the system that builds truly resilient, fracture-proof bones. I want you to leave here today with this one thought. You do not have to accept brittle bones as your future. You can take back your strength. Your next step is simple. Find a knowledgeable practitioner, get your data, and to help you on your journey, don't forget to download the free guide I created for you with all the studies and a summary of this action plan. The link is in the description. You have the power to not just prevent decline, but to rebuild your body and your bones. I'm Dr. Ray Heinisch, author of Strong Bones Forever, and as always, like, subscribe, and comment to help us get this information out to more men and women who need it. Be well, be strong, and be educated, not medicated.